A local family is opening up about a private struggle. Their daughter is one of only a handful in the entire country born with a rare genetic disorder. It's a childhood form of Alzheimer's. And they spoke to our Jason Hackett to help raise awareness about the struggle their little angel faces. She's always loved music. Some music more than others. It's funny. For Severio Carbone and Bridget Ludden, Oh, look at you! These small moments. She lights up the room. Everybody there is like, oh, Stella's here. Are becoming few and far between. It is torture in the worst way. Yeah. It gives you happiness, but it kills you at the same time. Because there's nothing that we can do. <laughs> Their daughter, two and a half year old Stella Carbone, was born premature. She was born at 33 weeks, but she stopped growing at 28 weeks. We've had, you know, developmental problems, you know, weight, uh, enlarged spleen. Her parents had no idea what was causing these problems. Then in November, a diagnosis. It's very rare. It's Neiman Pick Type C. It's a genetic disease. It's commonly known as childhood Alzheimer's, as it causes progressive neurological and physical decline. It affects one in 150,000. <laughs> Bring, 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 bring. Her parents say things took a turn shortly after the diagnosis. She got pneumonia and we lost words, her crawling. Um, she can barely sit on her own. She can't sit on her own. She doesn't eat with her mouth or drink. Her disease is very progressive. Like she was nothing like this even, you know, two months ago. Feeling they're on borrowed time, Stella's parents turned to medical professionals across the country. Their research led them to an experimental, non-FDA-approved drug, cyclodextrin, that could extend Stella's life. However... We are having a really hard time finding a hospital in Florida to do this for us. Part of the reason is Stella's age and the cost of treatment. But the biggest obstacle, Severio and Bridget told me, is even though they are willing to take the risk, they're waiting on hospitals to decide. You know, it takes them months to even come back with a decision, and she doesn't really have that much time. Right now, we just feel powerless. As they wait for news, it's the small moments that help them cope. A smile, a song. Just enjoy what you can, even the bad times. As they hope for just a few moments more. Even if she's not meant to be here for long, but at least she was here. Now, Stella's family tells me they have started to look at opportunities outside of the state, but they tell me it's costly both in time and in money. If you want to read more about Stella or see how you can help, visit our website, WPTV.com. Jason Hackett, WPTV News Channel 5. Oh, Jason, please keep us posted on her progress.